Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be doing the second part of the collab I did last Saturday with Natalie the Beauty Diva and Julia's B Beauty. I'm going to link both their channels be below. I know by now, I think anyone that watches me certainly knows who Natalie is and maybe you're just discovering Julia, but please, I encourage you to hop on over to their videos. Tell them I sent you if you've not been there before, but hop on over to their videos, watch their videos, leave them a comment. Both of them are absolutely beautiful, beautiful ladies. Natalie has been on YouTube for quite a while and she has, I think, inspired so many content creators and so many of her subscribers and people that have watched her channel have been inspired by her to kind of stretch out of their boundaries when it comes to makeup and try to do some really beautiful eye looks like she does and her skin is like porcelain. It, she is absolutely beautiful and totally amazing. I love, love, love Natalie. I've known her for a number of years. And Julia, what can I say about Julia? Julia is just a sweetheart. She is a Romanian. Um, she is a makeup enthusiast. She knows all about makeup. She does a ton of product reviews, skin care, makeup, all sorts of different product reviews. And she shares a glimpse of her life with us on her, on her channel. So she's also an IT manager, which always... Um, intrigues me. <laughs> I want to pick her brain. I want to say, hey, can you help me? But anyways, we had decided to do this collab. This was Nat's collab, Natalie's collab, and this is the best of 2021. So last week we did foundations and we did, um, you know, foundation and, and uh, contour and blush. This week it is eyes, cheeks, and lips. <laughs> so if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay. Oh my gosh. So eyes, cheeks, and lips. Hmm. Alrighty. So for me, I'm going to start with eyes because that's probably where I have the most products is with eyes. I, I love eyes. I mean, I love having, you know, eyelashes. I love expressing myself with my eye makeup and, and all of that, but I, I'm not good at it. I am not at all good at it. I have been learning. Um, I have been teaching myself and over the course of time watching videos that um, of women my age or close to my age that have put on makeup. I have very, very hooded eyes, so it's been an experiment in progress. My hoods have lifted dramatically since I started using Retin-A, but they still need a lot of help. I need to contour my lids. I need to really play with shadows to make my eyes somewhat big. I don't wear false eyelashes at all. So I'm going to start with mascara because that's usually the first thing I put on when I put on my makeup. So uh, my high-end mascara, I am all out of it. I don't have one here to show you. It was in an empties quite a while ago. I decided not to repurchase right now because I have enough mascara to get me through and I just don't want to have a whole lot. So my high end has always been the It Superhero, and I also love the Lancome. Both the It Superhero and the Lancome, the uh, the mascara is beautiful, and I love them. And I have neither one of those here to share with you, but that would be my high end. Both of those, especially the It Superhero, has never let me down. It it makes my lashes look big. It uh, holds up to tears. It holds up to all sorts of weather conditions. However drugstore. Since I discovered the Essence Lash Princess, and this is the one in purple. I currently have two because I actually have one in my pocketbook that I found. Um, but since I discovered the Essence Lash, Lash Princess in purple, I felt no need to go high end. None at all. As much as I love my It's Superhero, as much as I love my Lancome, I don't like the price. And for this, typically at $4.99, five bucks, you know, $5.99, depending on maybe where you live. Um, I just, you cannot, you cannot beat this mascara as far as I'm concerned. It stays on, it doesn't flake, 
And if I have to throw it out after a month, who cares? It was five bucks, right? It was five bucks. So this is my go-to. I have tried a number of other drugstore mascaras, including the Sky High, and I have an unopened tube of Sky High as well. But the Sky High, when that came out, it was almost impossible to get. Um, I, I would look for it. I could never find it. Maybelline came out with it. Everyone was doing these awesome reviews. I got my hands on it. I reviewed it. I loved it. But this still beat it. So Eyeliner of choice has to be 100%, and this would be high end. This is the Urban Decay. I absolutely love the 24 7 Glide On pencils. They're super soft. So you go through them quick because they are so soft, like they can break easy or they can wear down easy because they're soft. So I don't sharpen them a lot. I and I and I make sure that I have a very light touch. Some eyeliners you have to go heavy, right? So you need to know on this it's a light, light touch. I have a number of different shades on this that I like. I think smoke is my all-time favorite, and I usually top it up with um Rockstar. And then, or one of the other really dark ones. So I start with smoke. I do my eyeshadow, and then I end up with probably Rockstar or Demolition, anything on that when I'm doing Urban Decay. I also love very much the NYX pencils. I have a number of the NYX pencils. Again, I like the soft pencil. I don't like the hard dry pencil -y. I I like the glide on, sort of a gel. I don't want it to tug on my eyes. I want it to go smooth. I love these pencils. So hands-on, um, NYX, Urban Decay for high end, NYX. And I, I, I have to mention Rimmel because Scandalize, I use their black. It's sort of like the really thin little tip. And it's like the black little tip. Sometimes it's there's a felt. Sometimes it's a little tiny brush, depending on which one I get. I like the Rimmel and I the Scandalize, and I usually just buy black in that. So very very inexpensive, and what I what I use for liners. The the other thing that I use from NYX and also from Rimmel is I do have their. Um, what do you call them there? It's sort of like they're crayons. They're, they're color pencils. And I have a white one, and I have this really pretty pink one. And the Rimmel one I have is pink as well, too. I don't remember the exact color on this one, but it's just this tiny, shiny pink. And I put that on. I don't know if you can even see it. I will put that on sometimes in near the center of my eyes, just to just for a pop right like if um jay and i might be going out to dinner right and i might come home from work and i might look at my eyes and go i need a pop right my rimmel and i just kind of like the scandalize this this uh, nyx i'm sorry and i also have the rimmel but i will just put that on in the center of my eye and it kind of gives me a a glow that's all i can say is a glow so i really really like that one is the lorac um pro palette and the other is going to be the mac I like the MAC a lot. Again, this is a palette I can almost do a full look with. Not quite. The fallout is very minimum. Now with this MAC palette on me, um, it comes, it has, it's it's color intensive for me, right? Because I I like lighter colors that I can build up. I don't I don't want to put it on and go mm, and take it off, right? I want to be able to build up. So this I have to remember to go very, very light because it comes on heavier. But the fallout is minimum. I don't have a whole lot of um, fallout. I love MAC products. So MAC, yeah, I like that one. The other one I like an awful lot, but this has fallout for me, is the Lorac Pro Matte. And what I like about this is all matte shades. There's not a stick of glimmer or glitz in here. These are your basic, in my opinion, sort of cool, warm combo palette where you have a linen shade, you have a bare shade, so you've got the shades to go all around your, your whole lid to do your brow, and then you've got the darker colors to really give you some dramatic pitch. A, a little bit of a fallout on this, so again, if, if fallout is a concern, that's something you will always need to have a little brush with to brush off. So that brings me to 
I have a number of um, Huda palettes. Um, and I really, really like my Huda palettes. Uh, Huda, I have, oh my gosh. Sometimes I have a hard time opening it up. You can see I probably gravitate towards a lot of the purple shades. I love these, all the different purples. You can see one broke. I have a replacement already. It was shipped this way from Sephora when I got it. Was it Alter? One of them. It was broken. They replaced it. So I have another one unopened. The problem with this is that I can't, this is not a one eye look for me. I have to have another palette or another shade. I need to have that light color for the all over. Um, I can't just use that. And then I have the Mauve Obsessions, which I really like a lot. And that has more of an all over color, but then the problem for me is that the rest of the shades are a bit too dark. And I like, I like to go from light to medium to dark, not to light to dark. And then I have the Kaki, and this is probably the one that I've hardly ever used. But I'm only sharing, I do like Huda a lot. Um, but my all time, all time favorite palette is still going to be my Viseart Amethyst. I love this palette, and this is just beautiful. I can create a whole look with this. Even though this is a little bit darker for the all-around brow look, I can still create a whole palette. I actually popped these out and put this in a Z palette with a couple of dark browns from Viseart. Viseart, to me, is going to be the palette that I know is never going to let me down, right? It's, I have no fallout. The color payoff is awesome. I love it. And I have, I have probably three or four different... Viseart palettes, but this one, the Amethyst one, is my favorite. I had gone through mine. I was talking about how we couldn't find another one, and Mary Glitzy Fritzy sent me this complimentary, um, sent me this as a gift. I was so surprised. She wasn't using it, and that just goes to show you, you know, we all have different skin types. We all have different things that we like. One palette works for me, may not work for somebody else. And that brings me to Stone Cold Colourpop. I'm almost embarrassed to open this because it is, it's that paper packaging, so it's hard to keep clean. And I have used this galore. I have used this. So this has probably too many colors for me, but I could grab this and not need anything else. I have a couple of shades of light that I can choose for, for the brow. I have some shades for my crease to darken my crease to make my eyes pop. I have plenty of shades I can pick for the outer V. I love this. So, yeah. And this one was actually a, a birthday gift from Marlene Fab and Glam. I'm pretty sure it was a birthday gift from Marlene Fab and Glam. So I love this palette. Brings us to lippies. I don't know what time it's getting to be, but holy mackerel, it's probably going to be super long. I have, I, I, I'm going to be the first to admit that I don't have the best lips. I don't like dark lipstick on me. I put it on, I feel old. You know, that's just how I feel. So uh, my lips are thin, my lips are crooked. I have a lot of issues with my lips. My husband likes to kiss them though, so that's okay. But anyways, so I don't have a whole lot of lip liners. What I use 99% of the time is, I hate to admit it, I contour my lips with my eyeshadow palette. I take my eyeshadow palette, a little tiny fine brush, and I contour my lips using a lighter shade in that palette. So if it's my Viseart palette, I go to that medium, like, um, you know, rosy color shade, and I go up and around. And I, that's, that's what I use 99% of the time. The rest of the time, I use Avon Glimmer Sticks. I've used and had these Glimmer Sticks for years. I like Perfect Plum. That's my color of choice. I have several of them. I buy them when they're on sale. They're like dirt cheap. Sorry, no high end. But if I'm not using an eyeshadow palette, or if I start out with an eyeshadow palette and then it wears off and I'm retouching my lips. This is, you know, what I have in my bag and put this on and then I'll put my lipstick on. But my lipsticks, hmm, I, it, it's very difficult for me because, again, I don't like red on me. So my favorite lipstick, 
my favorite lipstick is going to be and hmm why can't I see this Well, my favorite lipstick is going to be actually 450, and this is Romantic Rose. And you can see I have hardly any of this left. This is the lipstick I wear nearly every single day. I'll line my lips with my eyeshadow palette. I will put this on. Sometimes I, I'll use a darker Becca lipstick. I'll list this one. This is about the darkest lipstick I own that I will wear. And 99% of the time, I feel that's too dark for me. You guys will probably go, oh, she's crazy. It's not too dark. But these are the two that I wear the most. And then I have Color of the World. I would say Color of the World, hands down, and my favorite. Almost out of this one love this shade. I'll list these below. I don't have my glasses, so I can't read the names, but I do love these. Oh my gosh. Look at my hands. You know, I love these. So I have these uh, lippies that I really love. And then for my um, lip gloss, I absolutely love my Sephora. And I have two shades in Sephora that I use all the time. I love this. Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't hope I didn't mess it up but my Sephora I love these two lip glosses I used to get a hard candy I used to get Rimmel I used to get a bunch of different lip glosses but this is my favorite and then more recently I was sent from Octoly some lip glosses that I absolutely love from Clarins and the one that I wear the most is this apps is this clear one I love it so yeah I love it and I also have a mock JPEX this is a really pretty gloss. Mm. I'm layering like crazy. A really pretty gloss. I love it. Oh, I'm sure I forgot something, right? And, but I'm sure this is a super long video. So I'm going to stop here. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And please go visit both Natalie and Julia and watch their videos and leave me a comment below. Let me know if you use any of these products that I've talked about. I think this is such a fun collab and we're doing our third one. Our third and final will be next week and I'm really excited about that because that's a drugstore. So yeah! <laughs> Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and be sure to leave a comment. Thumbs up the video if you're new, for my, new to my channel. Make sure you subscribe and ring that little bell. I would truly appreciate it. Bye guys.